Something I'd been wanting to do for a very long time and needing to do, but been just postponing because I don't have the money, I don't have the time, I don't have the, I don't have that, I don't have that, was a trip I really wanted to make to, to India to explore breath and movement. And I got it together and went to the north of India to Dharamsala in the foothills of the Himalayas, where I did a four week yoga course that started every morning at six o'clock waking up to prayers being sung and the birds and the mountains and the snow peaks and meditating for two hours and then moving into physical practice and then moving into philosophy, breath work, deeper meditation, anatomy. It's the greatest gift I've given myself to honestly put myself in the center of me and just focus on my thoughts, on my breath for four weeks, 12 hours a day. It's a lot of thinking and a lot of breathing. And I felt closer to that stillness that I have in water than I've ever felt on land. I, I think the simple thing is she's in her flow. There's no, she's not fighting anymore. And if you're not fighting, it's almost like the world says, well, this is fantastic. How can we serve you? And how can we help you achieve what you're trying to achieve? And, and that's what happens when you break down so much of the resistance. You start to get into that state of flow. I think it was possibly the most beautiful thing for, for me as a sister to see her true strength emerge, which was the strength of a very gentle young woman saying, I will do my best with these records, um, with the competitions, with the speaking engagements, with the commitments that I've made. But even if it doesn't happen, it's okay, because I'm loved. And there's a, a majestic beauty in that, which to me has been the most special thing to see. It feels like I've got my sister back. I think we're conditioned into a thinking that it's always a two-way street and we give and then we receive and we receive and we have to give back. I don't think it always is that way and doesn't always have to be that way and I needed to learn that. And I learned it the hardest possible way where I had nothing left to give and to then be able to go I have nothing to give but I'm willing to receive. I think, I think that's love actually. I think it's that simple. So, finally, life's good now for you. Life's good. Yeah, life's really good. I mean, to be able to get to do more of this is really valuable to me, and it's important to have days like this and to get into the water and just play and play with the animals because this is what I realize is my meaning. It's really important for me to, to remember why I do this, not only knowing that I do it and that I do it well, but why. <laughs>